<laughs> he may have drunk a bit too much there. Are we? Rick? You dare to face me? Anyway, he's gonna be at Sasa. But yes, uh, I think my theory is that um, Ulrich was sent to finish off everybody. The thing is, he was deliver he was out to kill everybody at the ambush, right? He wasn't just looking to find information. If he found information, that's fine. But he wasn't hesitant to actually kick off the ambush without seeing why Menhard was was waiting at that at, at that crossroads. So he was more than willing to give up information in order to kill Menhard a as soon as as soon as possible. So I think. Based on that information, plus uh, what we find later on, I think he was sent by Sigismund. But anyway, the letter we got from the bandit at Mohoy had mentioned that um, a certain S was cutting ties with a certain T because of the counterfeiting uh, activities. So basically, I'm, I think that Ulrich was sent to, to remove any links to Sigismund. So his primary mission was to basically terminate everybody. Now he says that he's been sent by a certain, certain, certain high-powered lord. Um, but the thing is, those lords work for Sigismund, or well, at least they're on his side. So it's very likely that Sigismund is behind uh, Ulrich overall. That's why Ulrich is not willing to share who he's working for. If yeah. Kobla knew that uh, Ulrich came from Sigismund, he would, he would get rid of him. So that's my theory. But I think it makes sense. If you, if you combine what he's told us, what he does later on, together with the letter that we got from the bandit, I think it makes perfect sense. Oh, Belladonna. Um, other than Belladonna, I should have enough. Or maybe charcoal. There's only a few places where you have to have bard potions, but uh, yeah. Three should be good enough for basically the last minute of the end of the game. Okay, so we basically have 10,000 Groschen. That's enough to get us started, but I will definitely have to make more. Oh, Christmas 6. My god. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already sought a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they directed some temporary dwellings, that is. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir so Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. Yeah, we should be able to get this. 18, right? Well, as you said yourself, it's just a continuation of your work for Sir Divish. So I see no reason to change the conditions now. Well, all right. Success! It seems we understand each other. I agree. <laughs> Good. Right, so we're losing 100 groschen per day. So basically that's because of, I think, Marius's fees. Plus the laborer's camp. Uh, woodcutter's camp 2,500, then the road will be 4,000, so it's like 6,000 already. And then we have to build a traders, which is, ten, yeah, another 4,000. So it's basically, you need like 10,500 just to get started. To, speaking of money, there's two major ways to make money. Well, there's a number. Well, I was going to say two, but uh, that's in accordance to my role-playing rules. The easiest way to make money is just to loot corpses. So if I went to Scalas right now, There'd be a battle between NPCs. One side would lose, and the side that lost would have a whole bunch of corpses with uh, high level gear. Sell those and you're making several thousand groschen per day, immediately. Uh, but, if, but if you don't want to abuse the game systems, then the other two ways to make money are hunting and uh, alchemy. You usually prefer alchemy. We need a woodcutter's camp, but you can, you can recruit Kunish. He might be a drunk, but he's pretty good at uh, manual labor. So he turns out to be quite profitable for the- Look out! Herbarium. And I assume you can read, of course. So yes, you can see what happened. The core of the coin is stamped from copper sheet, and the same is plated with silver amalgam. The master jeweler also noted that the design of the coin is sharply etched and of fine quality, indicating that the counterfeiters had, a, had at their disposal a very well-crafted punch. That is something that comes up later on. Master Feyfire, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. 
Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn it, Blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. Yes, he's probably fake. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. A witch king, huh? The one who's running around with our Kuman army or the guy in prison, huh? <laughs> So yes, it kind of depends on which king you serve, right? He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm, let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pen by the Questor. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm, which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sassau. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. Who do these Rosenbergs work for? Sigismund, right? So they're allied with Sigismund, so... <laughs> the Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver in silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. I've got something for you. She does. I hope you won't need them, but just in Lock case. Lockpicks. Thank you. <laughs> Lockpicks. Our oh, bandage is okay, fine. Ah, oh, yes, because we are, we're now officially dating or something, uh, we can get her to repair our clothes. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, tomorrow there's a tournament, okay, so I can't go to Sasso. Okay, I guess we're staying in Ratai. Love it here by the water. But how come you've been so quiet the whole time? What's on your mind? You're on my mind. Oh. Oh? <laughs> in what way? Oh, uh, you know. How pretty you look in that. Ah. You think I look pretty, do you? Yeah. Especially when... When you laugh. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say especially when you've no clothes on. Well, now that you mention it... Come here, you charmer. Well, there you go. I guess Henry got, uh, you got fed, lol. 
<laughs> but yes, there is a tournament tomorrow, so I guess we're not going there. Um, having said that, that means we can get another extra thousand groschen for basically for free. Wouldn't you like to wager on the right eye tourney? Hey lad! Eh? How come he hasn't said anything? <laughs> Usually shouting it from the reviews. rooftops. About betting on the tourney? I'm glad to hear it. A nice little wager. Well, break a leg. Literally, I hope. Oh, okay, so the quest is... Okay, that is a quest. That should be the Robber Baron's quest. Longsword. Yes, reflections in the water, by the way. Come on, block. The game's having a few performance issues for some reason. Hey, 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 don't break block. Okay. It was basically done for. Uh, I've got a. I have one combination. With the axe. He's done four already. Yep, he can't block. Yeah, he's done four. Okay, master strike. Okay, that's gonna hurt. I think my vitality is pretty low. Feels like I'm running out of stamina way too early. Oh, he bled to death before I did. So I'm pretty good with axes, by the way. I mean, there is only one combination. So it gets kind of spammy, but... Uh but it's good because you get to poke them in the face, which is kind of uh, vulnerable. Yeah, he's down four. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, I was kind of unprepared there. Oh, smashed! Okay! Yes, yeah, squeal! Oh, screw that up. Okay, that was bad. Might uh, lose this one. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I've lost. Yep, I've lost two master strikes in a row. That's it. This one definitely is there, which is a poke to the face. Oh! 
And his face is unarmored, by the way, so... <laughs> Squeal. Hey, hey, that was a master strike. I should have done that. Hey, don't pull that crap on. I too can do that. I was a little bit quicker there with a the swing. Okay, who's done for? Hunting swords are not very good for stabbing, which is, but it's fine. I guess an unarmored face, anything will do. Yep. <laughs> now we can't go on a date with Teresa. And we do have another quest pending. Here, Henry. Your prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've earned it. Hey, uh, yes, lad. Sir. Don't you want a little wager on the rack? Whoa. Are you sure you want to wager with me, Peshek? All right. Here's your winnings. Damn it. The lazy bastard. He said he had business to take care of his Sasso. And all he's doing is sitting around drinking. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Pfeiffer found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins and quicksilver for the armor... armor... Uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said, that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Right, so that's a clue right there. And the fresco painter is right here in the in the tavern. Out of the way. Uh, I think that's him. Yep, that's I him. I only need a little. Just a little quicksilver and I'm finished. My god, what a skill. He talks while he's drinking. <laughs> I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month they've told me they've none. There's no Quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying that was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row, the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. So in other words, he is blaming them. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm painting the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Yeah, so there are a couple of things here. They're worth getting, I think. Right, and also, discount says reading. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, crossing over here, there's probably something around here. Uh, one of the things to do is to speak to the blacksmiths around town. You don't have to find out who's, who's picking up all the copper. I know who exactly it is, but I believe that you have to... Shit. No, 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 get off. Oh, shit. Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! Oops. 
Yeah, I believe that it's better to speak to them first. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? There's too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zack, who has a forge in the craftsman's yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And then, apart from me, there's Master Armourer Otter of Rabstein. Tell me more about Zack. Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a master armourer in Prague one day. My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armor in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armorer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots and that his son will see him off. That will be all. Thank you. Do you ever work with Copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zack from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. Well, there you go. There you go. So, you can you can kind of ask the same question of Master Rotter and all that stuff. But basically, it is Zack. Do you have any Quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? I'm here on behalf of the Master Fresco Painter. He says you sent him away empty-handed three times already. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I can't. You can speech your way out of that. But I think it's cleverer to go and look yourself. Where would you store the Quicksilver? Unfortunately, the storage, the storeroom is over here, which is not entirely obvious. I would have thought that it'd be somewhere within the monastery itself, but no. The store is over here. Mercurium. That's a lot of Mercurium, by the way. Hmm. Vessels with Quicksilver in them. Now, I wonder what the overseer's assistant will have to say about that, eh? I mean, technically, did, it, did he say that he that they had none? Or did he just say that he can't? I've already told you, I've none to sell you. So, yeah, he's not technically lying. All he's saying is that he has none to sell to us. <laughs> Which is technically correct, probably. You can't sell me any. That's odd, since there's a whole shelf full of it in the custodian's cellar. What? You can't go snooping in there without permission. The bailiff will hear of this. All right. While you're at it, you can turn yourself in. Me? For what? What do you think? Not only are you cheating the monastery, but you're also working hand in hand with the coin foraging gang. Forging gang? What the hell are you talking about? Don't play the innocent. What do you think your accomplices want Quicksilver for? Jesus. But... I didn't know anything about any counterfeiting. For your sake, I hope that's true. Now tell me what's been going on. I swear, I, I wouldn't normally do anything like that. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon, directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was, without a crest, armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and... He had a lackey with him called Rapporter, a scruffy fellow with a yellow cape, always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporter is there waiting for me. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery, that they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. 
I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. There is somebody within the monastery itself who's working hand, uh, hand in hand with the coin forging gang. Technically, the forging isn't happening if in the monastery itself, but it's certainly happening with their cooperation. And I think I have theories about who it is, but uh, we never actually get to find out definitely. The overseer is definitely, well, he's probably halfway in it. This guy is probably in on um, a whole bunch of uh, corruption. And there is someone else within the monastery itself who might actually know. We'll meet them later. It is a good idea to go and check out the actual uh, exchange place. The description isn't quite correct, by the way. So there's no small chapel. And everybody is sleeping. Now we could choke them out. Yeah, just bandits. So we could technically take everything that they own. Zack is probably back at the forge. Or if it's not, then that gives us a chance to look in his uh, shed. All the other blacksmiths are saying that uh, Zack is hoarding, this, hoarding the copper. But uh, where would he store it? Why would a blacksmith need lockpicks? Hmm, copper. And quite a lot of it. I wonder what Zack will have to say about this. Uh, did I just take his... Yeah, you know what, it's not silly. All the charcoal that we ever need. Might even give some to Kunesh. <laughs> hey, your dog. Oh my god. <laughs> He's blepping us through the door. Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's brought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. Uh, that is a bit of a dissync. Because we haven't spoken to his father yet. Sold this. Hey, I'm dying of thirst here. Oh my god, that's where Zack is. What can you tell me about the Sasal blacksmiths? Well, there's Mikesh. He's honest enough. And a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old and too proud to admit it. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why'd you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you best go elsewhere. I never use copper. So there's a couple of uh, things we can do. We can either throw it in his face that he is working with copper, but that will actually lose his reputation. He's basically denying any knowledge about uh, working with copper. So it's basically his word versus theirs. Oh. The best option is to go there late at night. So basically he starts working at around, say, 2am. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. I grew up in a smithy and I'm not stupid. What do you mean? I've never yet seen a forge where they worked after dark. We have a lot to do. Really? And what about that smell? Like I said, I was raised in a smithy. I know the whiff of smelting copper. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copper sheets here, and I want you to keep it quiet. Why? Pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. I'd show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. <laughs> what you get from me will be much worse. Uh, having said that, not the best way to get cooperative witnesses. If you lie down with dogs, you shouldn't complain about the fleas. There's no need for threats. We can both benefit here. If I tell you everything I know, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. Okay, so it is entirely possible to uh, speech your way out of this, but uh, you do miss out on a good fight. So what are we talking about? I recently tried to buy Master Armourer Otto Rabstein's business for my son Vitas, but that old fool wouldn't listen to reason. He said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitus. Despite the insult, I doubled my offer. But Master Otter still wouldn't budge. And what is it you need from me? I thought I'd show Otter that Vitus isn't such a dolt as he thinks. But for that, I need someone experienced in combat. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Otter's busy making a very pretty suit of armor for the bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that... Pretty armor of his is absolutely useless. He'd be disgraced. 
And how am I supposed to see to that? Well, I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. You'll put on Vitus's armour, and Otto will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch, and Otto will be made a laughingstock in front of everyone. Then what do I get out of it? What we already agreed. I'll give up dealing in copper, and I'll tell you everything I know about what's been going on. Do you really think that will work? Otto's always mouthing off in the alehouse that my young lad isn't worth a damn. Once I show he's just a bitter old bastard spouting hot air, his business will be ruined, and Vitus will reap the reward. What with all the strife in the country these days, there'll be no end of work for a good armorer. The operative word is good, so we don't know if Vitus is actually any good. All right, Agreed. Fine. I'll get to work on it. Wonderful. Go to Otto first and talk him into it. Then go to the bailiff so he can announce it and get spectators. The more people see it, the better. We'll bring the armor to you at the combat arena. I did a little bit of crafting of potions offline. Alchemy has gone up to level 10, which means I can get both Bundle Alchemist as well as Routine. 97 potions. Yes, I'm a drug lord, folks. I'm a drug lord. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, yes. Drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are bad. Oh shit! I hate pedestrians on the road. Get off the road, peasants. Don't you know? Roads are meant for, uh, for noble bastards riding horses. And noble bastards that are called Henry. Nobody else can ride. Including Sir Radzik. <laughs> but yes, uh, the NPCs actually um, don't ride on the roads. Master Armourer. I have a message for you from Blacksmith Zack. If it's another one of his so-called generous offers, you can go straight back and tell him I'm not selling, and that's that. No, this is another matter. Vitus wants to challenge you to a duel. What? <laughs> <laughs> Me fight with that brat? Zack must have lost his mind entirely. Yes, that's right. He's going to bring his chunkla and smack the kid around. Are you afraid? Oh, Jesus, come on. Does anybody still say something like that? Uh, what are you, chicken? <laughs> That's not how it will be. The real duel will be between your pieces of handiwork. How's that? It will be a duel with bludgeons. No bloodshed. At most, a few bruises and some dents in the armor. Zack chose me to wear Vitus armor. And so I'm to choose a champion of my own? That sounds reasonable. Good. So let's agree on the time and place. Hold your horses, young fella. I've got a counter offer for you. Now I'm sure Zack is paying you well. To be honest, this is entirely truthful. Saying that I'm not doing it for the coin is entirely correct. Maybe I'm just doing it out of love for my neighbour. Although it's not for oh, that reason. A regular good <laughs> Samaritan, no doubt. I could pay you more. And I'd tailor make a Kiros just for you. What do you say? You mean if I fight as you're a champion instead? I'm not sure how Zack would take it. No, no, you fight on Zack's side and lose. That's dishonorable. <laughs> yeah, that's right, uh, I'm not a cheat. Um, um, I don't know what the difference is between that's dishonorable and I'm not a cheat. And also, the curious that he's offering you is, is pretty crappy. So don't bother, don't be, don't be tempted by that. Let me try this. Usually I go with that's dishonorable. But let's try this. Nah, forget it. Oh shit. I won't sully my name. <laughs> Lost reputation, okay, Suit fine. Yourself. But my champion will batter you into the ground okay, anyway. Right. So you've nothing to gain. So, choose the time and place. What, me? You're the one being challenged, so it's your right. Well, it's all the same to me. Go and sort it out with the bailiff. He should know about it anyway, so I don't look like a troublemaker. Okay, so that's the difference. If you say I'm not a cheat, it basically closes off any kind of discussion on the topic. But if you say uh, that's dishonorable, what happens is that um, this he'll actually try to talk you out of it. Oh, I see a pointer there. Oh, that's a belly. Good old quest markers. Lol. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, they're ruining gameplay. They're ruining games, those quest markers. I'm here on behalf of Blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the Master Armorer. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that pathetic feud of his. I'll have him up for disrespecting the office of the Bailiff. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. 
Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his plan? A duel. <laughs> I love his reaction. Jesus Christ! Has he lost his wits entirely? Ah, oh, Zack is definitely a bad man. Zack is a madman, I can't deny it. <laughs> this would just be a duel with bludgeons. Nothing too dangerous. Now hold on a moment, young fellow. Zack is a respected tradesman. He doesn't do for folk to go around doubting his sanity. Certainly not his messenger boy. Messenger boy? But yes, let's, let's throw it in his face. Because he just did the same thing that he's accusing us of doing. But apparently some folk are allowed to. <laughs> yes, the esteemed representatives of the township. Like the bailiff, for example. I, like me, for example. Let's leave uh, that aside and get Absolutely no point. shame on the part of this Zach guy. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armour made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first, loses. <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. <laughs> Your presence is certainly expected, Bailiff. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. Very well. We'll have it on the marketplace in the front of the church. But when? That's up to you. Right now, you can baby. It right now. Oh yeah. Why wait? Let's do it. Okay, so I I'll guess the duel does take place town. immediately. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk, and I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Farewell. How about I do better? I'll pull Zack out of the town entirely. But yes, uh, unfortunately my mace skill is actually quite low, so I could cheese this with Master Strikes, but that's not my style. I'll only do it if I'm about to lose. That's the only way I like to play combat in this game. Good citizens of Sassau! Our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zack, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and Master Armourer Otto Rabstein have been, for some time, at odds. <laughs> and in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square like a pair of cocks on a dung heap, well, to be honest, they're both dicks, aren't they? Has elected <laughs> a champion. Zach, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead. Henry of Scarlet. Yeah, um, the isolates on that helmet are massive. And Master Otto Rabstein's champion will be. <laughs> That's more realistic. Please introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otter will fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> We've just been called a dog. I remind time you to, time to bonk some heads. A duel with bludgeons alone. And until first blood is shed. Come folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here. Or, God forbid, murder. Some so, people seem to want to. <laughs> if both contestants are ready... Let us begin. So yeah, the crowd is rather excited and bang for blood, aren't they? Alright, time to fight Master Otter. This may drive the clock forward to about midday the next day. Uh -huh. um. It's a bit difficult to block with uh, bludgeons, right? Okay? Yeah. Hey, language! We're on YouTube. Uh, sorry, we're on Twitch. <laughs> we're somewhere on the internet. 
You're gonna get me in trouble. Whoa. I appreciate that they're actually sweet. Because <laughs> many games are too clean to be realistic. Oh, he's done for. He's done for. He can't block. Yep, he can't block. You know, you know, when they can't block, you know they're out of stamina. Yep, he's done. So when they start stumbling like that after a block, just basically push, push, push until they're done. That's the best piece of advice that I would have for anybody struggling with combat. Enemies also have a stamina, just as we do. <laughs> you kick that old bastard's ass, Henry. His ears will be ringing for a month. Now everyone will see who knows how to make armor and who's all hot air. Why am I naked? <laughs> Couldn't they at least give you a chance to uh, to dress up? <laughs> anyway, that is all. Yeah, yeah. Otto is better than Zack. Uh, the only reason I'm siding with Zack is because he's the better armor for previous Slavits. So unfortunately, that means I have to. Otherwise, he won't like us enough to come. You shouldn't speak so disrespectfully about Master Otto. He fought bravely. No need to get worked up about it. You've got to savor the victory, haven't you? Anyway, come by the forge later for your reward. All right. Excellent. But we're still naked. Okay. All right. So the clock has not moved forward. Why are your legs? What is wrong with your legs? What are you? Up? What do you think you did? What? The Christians don't leave me to die. What happened to his legs? All right. Have a drink, buddy. Uh, yes, I do have water, as the case may be. Thank you a hundredfold. You have a good heart. You never try giving them anything but water. Um, I think it's the same. I think the same thing happens. So basically, they just say thank you. That's kind of disappointing. What did you expect them to fall down drunk or something? I don't think this applies to NPCs. But what if we got them drunk enough to actually uh, go go sleepwalking? <laughs> Although I don't know why. What's yeah? What's what's with his legs? Yeah, he's playing the game on hard mode. Although he's he's awfully nonplussed. It's like, uh, do you even lift weights, bro? <laughs> Where? Come here. You're not getting away from me. <gasps> Smack him. Smack him! Go ahead and gather your strength. You'll need it. Smack him! Smack him! What are you waiting for? Yeah, smack him! Smack him! Don't run around! Haha, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I wasn't gonna do all the work for you. Oh, but you run the rest, dog, for stealing. <laughs> Had enough. Yeah! Yeah, you got me. Look, it was only a few groschen. I've done this, but uh, if you do that option, then uh, the person who got robbed isn't very happy. And you can't kind of replace their money, so... No yeah. excuses. Hand it over. Here. You got the thrashing you deserved. I hope you've learned your lesson. Yes, sir. Well, in the meantime, this guy says nothing. You really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? Yes, uh, so they're kind of happy as long as... So yeah, if you let them keep it and you tell him, then uh, yeah, you're in uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> They'll fight you. I did. I have it here. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. I know. Thievery is such... just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Yeah, man. Thievery is so widespread, you know? <laughs> Says the guy with yeah forty thousand uh, stolen groschen. Lol. <laughs> mm, no irony there. No irony. I uh, don't think he can sell him anything. But that guy's corrupt like hell. I think he knows about Branyik, but he chooses to ignore it. So yes, yeah, so I might. Oh hello. Now who could this possibly be, huh? Who could this possibly be? Lol. Are oh, you bastard? He's My supposed to go pleasure. back to to his uh to his workshop. Okay, yeah, he has he has to go back. He's supposed to walk back to his uh, to his workshop, but uh, he's taking his sweet time, I see, and drinking with a priest. My God, heaven shield us from this level of corruption, lol. Oh, and a gambling priest. Oh my God. Okay, but he means really, he's truly going to the to the dogs. All right, you know what? Let's steal his money. 
You want to mess around, Father Fabian? I'm going to take your money. Um, except that I don't have any special like dice. A game of dice. I bet he even cheats at dice. The bloody priest. Oh shit, okay. Uh, well, it looks like the priest called on his uh, cheat card. Oh my god, okay, this is bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. Hey, look at that. God's on our side. God is on our side. My god. <laughs> I hope that's the end of it. That's right, priest. Okay, so maybe God is on his side. <laughs> Bloody God can't make up his mind. Oh shit, this is bad. No yeah, that is bad. <laughs> that is bad, so... Looks like God is punishing both of us. Oh, actually, yeah, we win. Holy mother of God! Why'd you punish me? Because you're gambling, priest. You're not supposed to be gambling. I'm, I'm God's messenger here. To warn you against the vices of gambling. My God. And he's a drinking priest. Oh, of course, you know. Welcome, Henry. <laughs> but yes, bloody priests drinking and gambling. Okay, so if that was representative of what was happening in bloody Bohemia, I can see why the Reformation happened here. I might know where the materials from the monastery get passed onto the forges. Where? Up the hill by Sasa Woods. Shall we go right now? No, I need to find out more. I don't even know if anyone will be there now, but you could keep an eye out there, in case anyone appears, I mean. Agreed. Now I don't think he'll do anything. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Look at that. Um, you could have put it. You could have put your. Oh shit! He's gonna get killed. Oh shit! He's gonna get killed. Have I just got Ulrich killed? Okay. I got. I need to keep an eye on his ass. I may have just condemned him to die a naked death. But yes. Uh. He's kind of supposed to put on his clothes. I'm sorry. Okay, I was gonna say, but uh, I hope this doesn't screw me over. So yes, uh, the same applies if you speak to him about uh, going to the mines. Make sure to not wake him up in the middle of the night. <laughs> He's been known to turn up naked. And then you have to do all the fighting, so yeah. Okay, please don't get killed. Well, I never... The pig turns up willingly for his father. <laughs> Which pig? You or them? <laughs> okay, so he does start a fight. <laughs> I think Ulrich has a few problems. Yep, he's we we broke him. We broke him. <laughs> Lost your wind, have you? Hmm. I think he may have he may have, he may have drunk a bit too much there. Our Ulrich? You dare to face me? Hmm. Oh. Doesn't quite look like it. <laughs> Ulrich, Ulrich, uh, I have a few potions that you can use to recover from the drunkenness. Um, okay, so he does start a fight with uh, people who don't want to fight, obviously. So I don't know what the hell happens here. I may have just uh, bugged the game. Oh, Rick, my friend, please stop. <laughs> He's going to be here all night. I mean, that sounds like he's hitting something, but... Well, it wasn't me, man. No, all, all I did was just tell him about the camp. <laughs> it just happens that it's evening, and there everybody's asleep. On, then, you and this guy's naked as well. <laughs> I guess he's gonna win. Because they're, they're certainly not fighting back, are they? Although, having said that, they should have woken up by now. Wake up! Wake up, noobs! Let's join the fun. Oh, he got up. Okay, that was a hit. Yep. Oh! Get him. Let's join the fun. 
Oh, he got a weapon. Oh shit, they killed him! No, no, no! They killed him! They killed Ulrich! Shit! I'm trying to dodge. I'm... I'm using space but to dodge like I would in God of War. Bloody hell. Oh, oh. Take that. Okay, uh, no, no. You're dead. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Sick him. Sick him, dog. Did they kill him? Okay, I need to find out if they killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, shit. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, the knee attack. They killed him. My god. Um, continue combat. I'm in no mood for talk. You're dead. Kurva! Kurva! Oh, uh, what? He must have been, okay, he must have been bleeding. Did they both die? Um, this was most unexpected. This was most unexpected. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.